Welcome back to another video in our deadlift series. This video we're covering what type of deadlift should I even be doing? So we're, we're kind of showing you the pros and cons of each type of deadlift. We have sumo deadlift, semi-sumo deadlift, conventional deadlift, hex bar deadlift, or even pulling out of a rack available to us. First off, we have a sumo deadlift. Uh, this is going to maybe shift some pressure away from your low back in the deadlift because you're not as forward leaning as you would be in a conventional deadlift. So this does get your hips and your thighs working a bit more than if you were doing a conventional deadlift. The sumo deadlift does require a larger amount of mobility through the hips where you have to be able to kind of spread the thighs and uh, push those knees wide to the outside. Um, so pros and cons there, just make sure that you have adequate mobility to perform the movement. Um, and some people don't like it because conventional is old school. Um, really, I encourage people to go where you feel most powerful and you can train safely. And kind of like I suggested, the conventional deadlift uh, is gonna work a little bit more posterior chain where you're gonna feel a little bit more of a demand through your spine. Um, whereas in a sumo, you're a little bit more upright. Uh, pros and cons of each, obviously you have hips working more in a sumo and more uh, back in a conventional deadlift. And then you do have a semi-sumo, which is kind of like somewhere in between those two things. Um, again, I'm gonna suggest that you go where you feel most powerful, you can hold good technique, um, and you can get as strong as possible while being as safe as possible. An underrated variation of the deadlift is the hex bar deadlift. Um, a lot of people don't uh, talk about this because in powerlifting meets you have to have a straight bar, uh, but if you're just uh, gen pop in the gym, or even powerlifters who are wanting to find a new variation to train with in the deadlift, a hex bar deadlift is an awesome option. The hex bar deadlift does have neutral handles, so you don't have to pull with either straps or a closed grip or a switch grip, you could hold uh, the barbell more neutral, which kind of gets you away from maybe some of the twisting that might go on if you're pulling with a switched grip, which is one hand over and one hand under. Another benefit of the hex bar is that you could elevate your hands. So if you can't get down to a barbell without rounding your spine, the hex bar can elevate your hands where maybe you can keep a more neutral spine and it can be safer lifting for you while still achieving a lot of the benefits of a deadlift. And thirdly, the barbell doesn't have to move around your shins like a conventional deadlift might have to. Um, it allows you to kind of sit in this, you know, in a hexagon, that's why they call it a hex bar, um, and just drive that weight straight up without having to worry if that bar is going to be scraping your shins or your body. Um, it can also be easier for more of a novice or a beginner to pick up a hex bar um, deadlift and maybe progress into a conventional deadlift or a sumo deadlift over time. Another variation, last one I'll mention, is an elevated deadlift where maybe you're not pulling from the floor. You don't have to pull a deadlift from the floor to receive benefits from doing a deadlift. Um, yes, you would have larger ranges of motion, not saying that that's not beneficial, um, but again, for a more of a novice, uh, pulling out of a rack can be an awesome option in, in figuring out how to keep a flatter back. Um, some more advanced lifters even use an elevated barbell or like a rack pull um, to develop loading the bar heavier by training their lockouts. Um, and they even do it to develop some of their upper back musculature as well. Um, so pulling out of a rack is not a bad option either. Um, if you cannot get down to a bar on the floor um, while still maintaining a flat, flat back, I'd highly recommend this. Um, again, it's, it's you know, kind of like the hex bar. I think it's an underrated option uh, where a lot of lifters, if you're new to the gym, maybe you're just not familiar with this variation, or a lot of advanced lifters think, no bro, you gotta get down to a, a powerlifting bar on the ground. Um, it's just not the case. Um, do what's safest for you and what's the best fit for you. Um, that's how I would pick a deadlift variation. Um, and if you don't have to compete in a powerlifting meet, all of these are fair game. Um, so only in a powerlifting meet would you have to use a straight barbell. So if you're just looking to gain um, general strength, 
these are all awesome options. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you next time. Smash that like button.